Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel and today we have an episode where I'm adding a vehicle to the fleet. So it's not quite a vehicle, but it's something that's really going to complement the channel and also be a part of Cordetti Motorsports. I am now growing and I'm now actually expanding my business, so therefore I'm going to need more of a car hauler slash toy hauler uh, for my training business and also to help move my mom across the country who is now moving into Alberta with me. So we decided to buy a trailer. Uh, and so that uh, started the hunt. So I'm in beautiful Mississauga, Ontario at uh, the Ontario Boat Company Limited and I'll leave all the links in the description. This is a great uh, company that sells a variety of enclosed trailers. I believe they got their name started due to the fact that they started selling boats originally and their business grew to more specific uh, selling of uh, enclosed trailers and flat deck trailers and, uh, and whatnot. So anyway guys, I bought something really cool, amazing trailer, and let me go and do an unveiling with it. It is. Now I do apologize about the wind. Um, this is a new camera and I don't have my lapel mic. So I bought a 16 foot uh, stealth trailer. It's in the uh, stealth black and it looks just gorgeous. It's got a good finish. It's got a lot of good features. It complements the truck. Let me move back here so I can get you a little bit of uh, view. And I went with the 16 foot just due to the fact that it allows more growth, obviously more cargo, more capacity, but also because the channel is going to be growing in and I'm going to be looking at purchasing uh, possibly this summer a autocross vehicle and get into more autocross racing for my uh, instructor development and for the motorsports channel. So anyway, this is the all steel trailer and it does have the riveted out there. I know you could go with the aluminum one which is more of a, a smooth finish but they did not have any of those in stock and I wasn't able to wait for it. So they had this one and then they had the I believe the Titan in a 14 uh, foot uh, uh, length. So it is a dual tandem axle. It is all steel. It does have uh, the 3500 pound axles. It's got the drop down um, doors. So again, we'll see how much room is in here. Again, love the finish on this thing. Looks really good. Watch with it. And it's got a really nice door. Really good uh, bump stops for the back and whatnot. Let me just put this guy down. Perfect. I'm going to step back and take a look. So again, seven by 16, so it's enough to get the type of vehicle that I want in here. There's a YouTube channel that has uh, put a Honda Accord in here. It was an older Honda Accord, so if you can get something mid-size like that in here, that's no problem. It is V-shaped, so it does have the V in the door. This will be great for a television over there, uh, some shelving, and maybe a desk with a power inverter. We do have a side door that's only accessible from the outside so you can get locked in here it's got cool led lights with switches i don't have it hooked up it does have provisions for a hood vent which may happen i don't know yet uh, again really good construction uh it's really well built it's got nice uh, particle boards for the side again those will be painted as i do a transformation of where i want this to go uh this is um what we're looking at uh, to add value to my channel it does have these good vents up there it's a lower vent and an upper vent again we see that it has all led lights and everything else so this thing's a sharp sharp trailer and again this is just uh this is what i decided to go with with the uh, 16 foot versus the 14. okay the side door again as you can see opens up and then you've got access through the front uh, for looking. So you can turn this into what you want. There's a thousand and one uses for these trailers. And these things here do have a lot of uses for, you know, just basically cargo hauling all the way to uh, building it into what you want to do. It's got a nice mirror finish. Let me take a look at the back here and everything else. So yeah, this is going to be pretty good. I don't think I'm going to decal it. I'm going to keep it. The stealth look. Of course, now I'll have to upgrade the Titan. Maybe I'll be getting a, a black 
Cummins turbo diesel. That would look really good towing it down the road. Of course, you want that stealth look, so advertising your brand might not be uh, happening if you do that. So let's close this guy up and uh, do one rock again. These are built in the States. I don't, I can't remember the state that they're built in. I'll get all that. Uh, I'll get all that link down here on the description and everything. I borrowed a license plate uh, for um, for the channel right now just to move it. So it is the Mustang series. And again, she looks really good in all black. So we'll see how she tows down the highway. Um, let's go and take a look at the 14 footer. So if you guys are in the market, sorry about the wind, I don't have my lapel mic, so you might get a little bit of a wind noise. But let's go take a look at this 14 footer. It's basically the same, it's an all black. It's the other one I was considering. Um, so I didn't go for it because I wanted that extra two feet in length and being able to put a little bit more. So, and it was only a thousand dollars difference. But anyway, this is the Stealth. And this one here, again, is in the 14 foot range. So a little bit shorter. So I talked to the dealer. He said that it's the middle and the end gives you the length for the foot difference. But other than that, the features are still the same. So that's kind of what we're looking at. But again, it's got the side door entry. Everything else is exactly the same. 3,500 pound wheels and tires. This one here is the Titan model. So if you're just looking at hauling a snowmobile, just your own, uh, this will be more than enough to, uh, to do that if you don't want anything too big. Again, it is quite, you can tell the difference. Uh, this would have worked for me too. Um, I could have went with the 14, but uh, like I said, just because I know where the channel is going and what type of uh, vehicles I'm going to be using, the extra two feet just allow a lot more. So this is why the reason why I went with the uh, the 16 foot. It just gives you a little bit more flexibility on what you can use. Of course, these guys here have a ton of trailers. Now, of course, I went with the all black one just for the aesthetic appearance, because uh, that's kind of where you are when you're marketing yourself. But you can get them in silver, white, uh, different length, single axle, dual axle. They have a whole bunch of stuff. Now. Trailers are kind of built on the same type of engineering platform, but you have different makes. So this one's a Stealth, that's the one that I have. You have Look Trailers, Pace American, you got Anvil Trailers, Cargo Express. Again, we'll take a look at some of the, the features of what we have. This one's okay to ship, but there's no name on it. Again, Anvil, Anvil. So this may be Cargo Express. So then we got US Cargo here. Again, it looks good. It's not all black though, I think with the, uh, with the all black, it just makes it a lot more aesthetically appealing to me and makes it worth it. Um, again, time will tell. Uh, this type of stuff with the silver and all that, you're not gonna have paint peeling or paint uh, coming off. And uh, that's basically it. And of course, they have a nice boat here. So they do still keep a little bit of their, um, a little bit of their uh, namesake. <laughs> That is, but it's almost time to hit the water. So guys, thanks for coming along on this journey. Again, I'll do a bit of an update, a review on how this is, on how the trailer's treating me, if I have any issues or problems. And if you are in Ontario or you're around Ontario, and you want to make the trip here, I'll leave, leave all the links to Ontario Boat Company in the description. You can give them a call and they'll be able to hook you up to see if the trailer that uh, you're looking for uh, is here or if they can get it in. So, so far, amazing, great service, great prices. Um, it was seamless transaction. I wish uh, more companies uh, basically treated people this way, <laughs> you know, making it, uh, making it easy and accommodating. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit like and subscribe. You're going to see more content from Cordetti Motorsports. And until then, you guys stay loose for now.